Hey there, Cheese here, and welcome back to the Mega Man Square Root of Negative 1 Kirby Challenge. We're taking on Milk today, and since last time we took on Illuminati, the only weapon we'll be using for this stage is the Illuminati tape. That's how the Kirby Challenge goes. As you might expect, Milk stage is the main water stage for this game. We've got some standard stuff here, currents that move you along, there's water physics coming up, and we have another gimmick here with that pill. Best way I can think of to describe that is it makes Mega Man terminally thirsty. His health will constantly drain while he's outside of the milk, and while he's in the milk, he'll constantly regain health. The effect lasts until you run into one of those pink and white capsules that sets Mega Man's status back to normal. It gets tricky later on, but for now, just a nice simple introduction. And here we finally see the Illuminati tape in action. It uses a little extra ammo, so I don't have too many shots to use freely, but it justifies that, oh boy, yeah. The Illuminati tape permanently freezes an enemy in place and keeps it from damaging you ever again. Unless you respawn it somehow, but... Yeah, that's basically a one-hit kill on anything. Normally that sort of power would cost a lot more in a weapon, but there is the downside that none of the enemies that you kill, quote-unquote, with the Illuminati tape ever drop anything. No health or weapon energy, even if you're hurting for it. Our boss today is Sheep Man. He is hilariously weak to the Illuminati tape, and... Yeah, there we go. Come to think of it, this is also probably the closest the game gets to an electric level, what with Sheep Man, the Sheep Man stage theme, and the disappearing blocks. Huh. One problem with not having many shots to spare in this stage is that there are a lot of enemies that are super tough to jump over. Jumping over the cannons is nearly impossible outside of water, even without them shooting all the time, and I'm not sure the frogs are possible to jump over. One thing to be aware of when using the Illuminati tape is that it doesn't only stun enemies, but also their projectiles. You can use this to your advantage, of course, but when you're uh, kind of short on ammo, you gotta pay more attention especially in this boss battle with Milk here. Aside from throwing a Milk Slasher up into the ceiling when he gets hit with his weakness, Milk's attacks are telegraphed by the number of little blobs of milk he makes when he lands. Pretty sure you have to dodge those too, though. One drop means he's going to use Milk Spray all over. Three drops means he's going to send out a bunch of waves straight along the ground in both directions. And two blobs means that he'll jump up to the ceiling and shoot a few slow aim shots at you before coming down. Doesn't do that in this battle. Or he could just kind of sit there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the Illuminati tape can do weird things to boss patterns. I didn't mention it before, but every boss has a lo uh, low health phase that changes something slightly. When Milk is low on health, he'll mostly just go up to the ceiling and fire a lot of shots at you, then jump sideways on the way down. It might have another attack or two at low health, but if so, it's been a really long time since I've seen him. I actually find Milk a good bit easier with the Buster than his actual weakness, because, just because of all the things he can throw out to intercept your shots. But with Milk down, we get the Milk Spray. Let's just say the next segment won't be nearly as tight on ammo. Until then, this has been Cheese. Take care. Milk... Milk's graphs are... Milk's graphs. Milk's telegraphs are... Milk... Milk's... Milk... Help!